When Patagonia's Fall 23 release, it was kind of more heavily centered on revamping their hard shells. And while that's super important to move on from PFCs with their Gore-Tex EPE, it was easy to forget about soft shells. Well, I'm here to tell you about these soft shell pants from Patagonia. These are the Alpine Guide Pants. They're a brand new soft shell pant. And they kind of replace the Simul Alpine pant. I think this is a I think this is going to be one of the best soft shell pants out there for alpine climbing in general or just that alpine environment. So with that being said, let's just dive into the features of the pant. Um, first of all, they are a double weave soft shell pant. Double weave is pretty standard for a winter pant. You know, a lot of other brands are they always do a double weave. It's just kind of you get more warmth from it. And with these soft shell pants, they do have a PFC free D DWR. That's really nice to see. Again, getting away from that forever chemical, it's always great to see for the environment. Another kind of key thing with the, these pants is they also come with a Ricoh reflector. Now, Ricoh reflectors, they're kind of pretty standard in a lot of alpine wear or any snow wear. That's always great. They just offer that increased chance of you being found or being searched for. So that's always great to see. It's great to see that they fit in with these pants. Really, really like it. And I think that it might have been something that the Simul Alpine pant didn't really have. So it is definitely nice to see these, uh, the Ricoh reflector in these pants. So that's definitely great. Kind of the big thing about these pants though that sets it miles apart from the Simul Alpine pant is how to keep your pants up. So the Simul Alpine pant really just only had the Opposet um, pull tab, which you can see is right here and is still present on these. Um, but that's all that pant had. Whereas this pant has belt loops, it has suspender attachment points that you can put the mountain suspenders from Patagonia on, and it's got the Opposet pull tab. So there's a bunch of ways to keep your pants up. And this is really great because that was kind of one of the main things that I didn't like about the Simul Alpine pant is that it only relied on the Opposet um, pull tab. Now, pull tab, you know, it works really great. It's, it's the same pull tab that's in the RPS rock pants from Patagonia. And those really worked well. Um, but there was always that chance that it could fail. And if it fails, you've got no way to hold your pants up. So just having all these options to have, you know, the standard belt loops, which are always nice. And it's something that the original Simul Alpine pant had. So having traditional belt loops, that's great. Having the suspenders is amazing. You know, I'm really stoked to be able to climb in these with suspenders. I think that's going to be a great thing. And uh, yeah, so having all the attachment points or ways to keep your pants up is always great. Now, kind of the next thing I'll move on to is the boot accommodation. Now, this is a very basic straight zip down to gusset it out for accommodating your ski boots or mountaineering boots. That's kind of the same. There is a little internal gaiter that a lot of snow pants have. You know, it's pretty standard. So there is that way. So you can get another form of protection. Now there is a nick patch on there as well. It's the same type of material of, of the nick patch as the dual aspect pants. So it's kind of not rigid, but kind of flexible. So, but just having that nick patch and kind of the bottom cuff all around is really nice to have. Um, just to make sure if you're using them with crampons that you're not just ruining, you know, the soft shell pants that just giving that extra form of protection. So that's always great. Um, and overall, you know, it is pretty, the legs aren't too big, you know, with it all the way zipped, it's pretty good. And there is a snap closure on the bottom too. So that's always great to see. Now, those are kind of the key specs and kind of the key details of the pants. So now what I'm going to move on to is the sizing. So right off the bat, these are a slim fit pant. And I will say as a slim fit pant, they're not as, they're not really super slim fit. They can obviously accommodate a lot underneath. Um, I've got on like a regular pair of pants underneath these right now. So they'll handle any base layer really well. Um, and you know, the soft shell, because it is soft shell and stretchy, it'll accommodate everything too. You know, range of movement is always great too. You know, have no problem, high knee and high stepping. That's great. And I did size them in a 32. 32 is my basic waist size across all boards, across all pants. So that's kind of what I normally do anyways. Um, I did happen to size these before. I tried the size 31 and I tried a size 33 before. I know 33 was a little bit too big. 31 was a little bit too tight. 32 worked really great for me. And honestly, you can't really mess it up too much just because, you know, it may be if, if like perhaps like the 32 was a little bit too tight, I could have done a 33 because you do have all the attachment points. You know, I could have put a belt on it and I could have used the suspenders. Um, but 32 it fits perfectly for me. I'm really happy with the 32. And I'm really stoked to be able to climb with these for this upcoming season. Um, I haven't actually gotten time in them to climb at all. So just being able to get these finally and then looking forward this upcoming season, being able to use them, I'm really, I really am stoked to be able to use them for that. Um, with that kind of being said, it's a good place to kind of wrap up. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments about these pants, 
uh, feel free to leave them in, in the comment section. I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. Um, but just know that I haven't actually spent a season of ice climbing in these. And once I actually spend more time in them, um, I'll obviously have an updated kind of thoughts on them. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.